Hey, this is Allie Edwards, and in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to work with digital word phrase stickers. Now, in the past, when you've purchased word phrase stickers from us, we have generally offered them to you individually. So we've taken the time to go in and basically cut out each one of these words and then paste them onto a new canvas for you. We're going to make some changes to the way that we are offering some of these products, some of our digital products. And the change that we're going to make to these word phrase stickers is we are going to offer them in one file. So you're going to have all of them just like it would look like if you were to get the physical sticker sheet. It's going to look just like this. And then you are going to be able to copy and paste the words onto your photo, onto a layer template, onto whatever kind of canvas you want to use. And there's a couple reasons why we're doing this. One is because we're looking at all of the processes that we are going through as a team and deciding which ones we want to continue and which ones we might need to adjust. And this is one of the processes that we're deciding to adjust and we want to save them in this one individual file instead of instead of saving them individually or each, each word individually. The second reason why we're doing this is because a lot of people have requested that they receive uh, the file like this so that they can cut or excuse me that they can print it out and then cut it up to be able to use in traditional scrapbooking. So we're hoping that the combination of, of being responsive to people that have asked for the the full page option for printing, along with giving you a tutorial here to show you how to uh, cut and paste these onto other documents will be helpful and uh, will help everybody in speeding up some of the processes related to memory keeping. So what I have open here right now on my desktop here, I am using Photoshop Elements and I have the word phrase sticker file for the theme of design, the story theme of design. And basically what I want to walk you through is how to copy and paste these words that you may want to add onto a photo or add onto a layered template, layered template uh, digitally, just like you were wanting to add stickers onto a physical photo. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a photo that I've already saved here on my desktop and I am going to bring it into Elements so that side by side I have here's my photo and here are these digital words that I would like to cut up and then put on top of this image. The first thing that I want to do is I want to adjust the image size here. Let's say I want to Actually, let's go ahead and do it using the crop tool. But I want to crop this to four by six. So I'm going to come down here on the bottom and I'm going to select four by six uh, the for the orientation. And then I'm going to have it go that way. So let's just make, let's go ahead and say that looks fine. So let's say I wanted to print this out as a four by six photo. But before I print it, I want to add some of these uh, words over here from this word phrase sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm going to gr grab this rectangle selection tool and then I'm going to pick, it's actually called the rectangular marquee tool, but I'm going to click then onto the phrase sticker sheet. We've got a couple different layers happening uh, and then I'm going to basically make a rectangle. So I'm whole, I'm clicking with my mouse and I'm holding it down and now you can see what they call the marching ants around that area that's been selected. Next, what I want to do is copy it and then paste it onto my photo. I'm using a Mac computer and on a Mac computer, you can use the keyboard shortcuts of command C to copy and then click over onto the photo that you want to add it onto and click command V. That is going to place that word phrase sticker right onto my image and then I can move it around here and place it wherever I like. Let's say I'm going to make a little um, group of these stickers right there. So that is as easy as it is. Um, when you go back to the word phrase sticker sheet uh, on a Mac, you can hit command D and that will deselect the um, the area that you're copying and pasting. If you're working on a PC, I believe it is control C, control or option C, and then control or option V. You can also always go up after you've selected, let's go ahead and you, I'm grabbing the rectangular marquee tool again. Let's say I'm gonna come down here and I, I wanna have priorities. So I'm clicking and dragging to copy 
that word. And then you can always, if you don't remember what the shortcuts are, you can always go up to edit and say copy, click back over onto the image that you wanna paste it onto and click edit, paste. And then you will have that other, another word phrase sticker there added right on there. And you can move them together. You can, you're gonna have separate layers. So let's go look at that over here just so you can see. Here's the background layer of my photo. Here's layer one, which is the embrace imperfection. Here's layer two, which is the priorities. Having them on individual layers gives me the option to move them around, to delete them if I don't want them on there. Uh, lots of different things. So let's go ahead and do one more. I'm coming back over to the word phrase sticker sheet. I'm going to hit command D to deselect. And that's also here under uh, the select menu option up along the top. I'm selecting the rectangular marquee tool. I am going to uh, go ahead and I wanna do embrace the journey right there. So I'm selecting that, I'm hitting command C I'm clicking on the image that I wanna paste it on and I'm clicking Command V and there I'm able to paste them right on top here. So this is a really, I mean, word phrase stickers are one of my personal favorite embellishments to use, whether I'm working uh, with physical product or digital product. This is just an easy way. And I actually think this is easier than going through your, you know, in the past how we've saved these in a folder and you would have third, you know, 80 or however many words there are on there, 50, 30, whatever, um, individual ones where you're having to scroll through and look at them. This way you can see them all at once, uh, which I think is actually easier to be able to copy and paste them and make them very usable in the project that you are creating. So this is a quick look at working with the word phrase stickers that we are going to be having all together on one page um, from this point forward. If you have any questions about that, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I'm happy to answer them for you and hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.